You've often been compared around the beginning in particular to something like, say, like Peter Buck style would, would be Roger McGuinn from The Birds and that. And it would seem like that to me around the beginning. Yeah, I can see what they're getting at. But you moved away so far that there must have been other influences there, like the sort of more arty side of the post-punk sort of crowd. Would that be it? We were huge fans of like Wire and Gang of Four. We toured with the Gang of Four for several years and, and learned a lot from them you know, both good and bad, you know, the band kind of fragmented over the stress, you know, and that we didn't let that happen. But, you know, ideologically, I thought they were really cool. Musically, I thought they were really great. Um, this new record seems to remind me of like the New York Dolls or something to, for some reason, and I couldn't tell you why. Um, what about Andy Gill? Like, was, was he, did he oh, yeah, I was, well, you know, I mean, I, I used to sit right by the side of the stage and, and watch him play every night. Th those guys were just an amazing band. They, we were talking, probably the, the best rock and roll show I've ever seen was, um, Gang of Four to Buy You in 1984. Yeah. It was Washington, an amazing DC show. Was it was amazing. just surprised the building was still standing. And I just walked out and I was like, you know, that was, that's what it's all about.